In today's video, we're going to be talking about the 10 most venomous animals in the world. Funnel web spiders that attack and bite up to 28 times. The box jellyfish with 30 million venomous stingers. Saw-scaled viper whose bite affects the nervous system, blood, heart, and cells. Maricopa harvest ant, whose stings are 20 times more harmful than the honeybee venom. Inland taipan snake, whose venom can kill 100 people at once. Indian red scorpion, whose stings make people unconscious. Stonefish, that have venom-filled dorsal fins. Cone snail, that are the most venomous marine animals. Mexican beaded lizards, that chew on victims and platypus that cause long-term pain. Number 10. Funnel Web Spider Tree-dwelling funnel web spiders and Sydney funnel web spiders are the two species in the family Atrocyte. They are ranked among the most venomous spiders in the world. Their bites can be deadly if left untreated, and they often collide with humans. Both spider species are medium-sized and are native to Australia. The female nibbles are non-toxic to humans, but the male bites can incapacitate victims. Without quick treatment, they can even prove fatal. When the venomous funnel web spiders are threatened, they stand up on their hind legs and immediately flash their fangs. If the threat continues, they will attack and bite up to 28 times. Their symptoms show within an hour, and the first injection can be painful, triggering involuntary twitching and disorientation. Number 9. The Box Jellyfish this is the most venomous jellyfish in the world, and death can occur in a few minutes after being stung. There are different species of box jellyfish, and only four are highly venomous. They are Karukia barnasi, Malokingi, Chironex fleckeri, and Chironex yamaguchi. Since the year 1883, when box jellyfish deaths were first recorded, the gelatinous carnivores have claimed a lot of human lives. In the Philippines, about 20 people a year die from sting complications. Box jellyfish are 8 inches long, and their tentacles can reach 10 feet. Each individual has about 15 tentacles per corner, and each tentacle sports about 500,000 venom injectors. This means that a single box jellyfish has up to 30 million venomous stingers. Number 8. Saw-Scaled Viper Saw-Scaled Viper is the most venomous snake in the world. It is also known as the carpet viper. These snakes belong to the genus Echis, and they are found in the Middle East, Pakistan, Africa, India, and Sri Lanka. Their bites are very painful and also fatal. They have the world record for the most snake bite deaths for humans. In addition to death, the saw-scaled vipers cause a lot of amputations. In their native regions, they are responsible for more deaths than every other snake. The females are twice as venomous as the males, and their poisonous serum is a cocktail of hematoxins, neurotoxins, cardiotoxins, and cytotoxins, which affect the nervous system, blood, heart, and cells, respectively. The saw-scaled spiders glide across different arid regions utilizing sideways locomotion, and they are between one and three feet long. Each one has gray, brown, dark dorsal patches, orange skin, and pear-shaped heads. Number seven. Maricopa harvest ant. There are 26 species of these ants, the majority of which are harmless and are used in ant farms. But the Pagono myrmex maricopa, also known as the Maricopa harvester ant, is considered the most venomous insect in the world. Maricopa harvest stings are 20 times more harmful than the honeybee venom, and about 35 times more toxic than the western diamondback rattlesnakes. If the Maricopa harvester ant targets a human, they technically kill the person with multiple bites. Many people experience a lot of pain that can linger up to eight hours after an attack. These ants only live about one to three months. They reside in Arizona, Nevada, California, Colorado, New Mexico, Texas, and Utah. Number six, Inland Taipan Snake. One bite from this snake has enough poison to kill 100 adult people. By volume, the inland taipan snake is the most venomous animal on Earth. Inland taipan snakes are very timid and reclusive and will do everything in their ability to steer clear of humans. They also avoid people so much that scientists could not find enough of them to conduct studies between the year 1882, when they were first discovered, and the year 1972. The inland taipans are very nocturnal and they rarely come out during the day. 
One bite from an inland taipan snake has enough venom to kill 100 adults. Number 5. Indian Red Scorpion With their bulbous tails, small pinchers, and large stingers, the Indian Red Scorpions are the most venomous scorpion. Fatality reports are between 8 and 40 percent, and kids are most affected by the Indian Red Scorpion venom. Located in Nepal, India, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka, the Indian Red Scorpions are between 5 to 9 centimeters long, and the majority don't live more than 5 years. The Indian Red Scorpion prefer tropical habitats as well as subtropical habitats, and they are often captured for research projects and much illegal pet trade. After the attack, humans will begin vomiting, sweating seriously, convulsing, and can fall into a state of unconsciousness. The Indian Red Scorpion's venom is not all terrible. Scientists believe that the serum could lead to some pharmaceutical advancements to fight malaria, cancer, and many dermatological conditions. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like if you are loving the content. Number 4. Stonefish They are from the species called Sinenseus. The stonefish are venomous, and you won't want to encounter them at the beach. They have venomous-filled dorsal fins that sting faster before you scream, ouch! Their stings are extremely painful, and they can also kill if not treated. They are found in the Indian and Pacific Oceans, and also hang out on the east coast of Africa, some islands in the South Pacific, and Australia's north coast. Beaches in stonefish areas often have vinegar stations and they help to reduce stings on contact. Medical clinics and area hospitals are typically stocked with anti-venom. Since experts and scientists developed a good anti-venom for stonefish stings, there have not been any reported cases of death. The last fatality occurred in the year 1915. Number 3. Cone Snail Common in Indo-Pacific waters, these creatures are the most unassuming venomous animals on Earth. But don't be deceived. These snails may be the world's aquatic couch potatoes, but they're very lethal. Cone snails come in over 900 species, and for over 10 years, their taxonomy has been in a state of flux. But what many scientists have agreed on is that the cone snails are among the most venomous marine animals presently alive. The small cone snails aren't harmful to humans, but the large ones, which grow to 10 inches, can be. Their attacks can cause serious symptoms because the cone snail stingers are more like hypodermic needles that convey poisonous serum with precision. Number 2. Mexican Beaded Lizard Darting around the woodlands of Guatemala and Mexico are a lot of Mexican beaded lizards. These lizards weigh about 2 pounds, and they have pink forked tongues, which they utilize to smell. The Mexican beaded lizard is also the most venomous lizard to humans, though lizards in general don't pose a serious threat to people. The Mexican beaded lizards pack the most potent venom for lizard species. They carry poisonous serum in their lower jaw glands. When they strike, they chew on victims and ensure a subcutaneous puncture. But the good news is that they don't attack humans often, and when they do, death is uncommon. And number one, platypus. The platypus is also called the duck-billed platypus, and it is the most venomous mammal. That said, they don't present a serious threat to people. Male platypuses use venom from spurs in their legs. Their dose is enough to kill cats and dogs, but not humans. That said, a platypus attack is nothing to sneeze at. They cause hurt and can cause long-term pain sensitivity. They are semi-aquatic and can also lay an egg. They live in eastern Australia, and scientists value them as an effective evolutionary link to the far-distant past.